Okay, so one of my subscribers has suggested, um, I'll just pop it over here, um, suggested me to do an SLAAIB prediction video. So let's get started and I'll give you some advice on it. Okay, so let's go through my top 10 topics to consider when you're revising for the analysis and approaches SL exam in November. So notice this is a very different kind of paper to the AI course. And your big focuses should be the differentiation and the integration on the course. Now, this calculus is generally the big focus of the AA course. When I say differentiation, you need to think of the following things. You need to know all different rules. So your chain rule, your product rule, your quotient rule, and know how to work with them as well. Because a lot of the paper is going to be based either a very straightforward question. Okay, here's the derivative, work out uh, the main function or they might try and do this in context as well, which I'll talk about in some of the other points here too. Likewise, integration, you need to know the standard integration of standard functions, working with sine and cosine as well, and also working within limits too. So it could also be a graphical kind of question where you need to find the area between a line and a curve or a curve and a curve, something along those lines as well. And if you can make sure your calculus, your differentiation integration is really up to scratch, that will take you a long way for doing well on this paper. Notice I put over here kinematics as a kind of separate topic, although really it, it isn't. It should be uh, integrated into differentiation integration, but I've noticed uh, quite a few questions on the papers from June or May, and also the papers from the specimen paper too, where they do actually do kinematics as a separate kind of question. So working between acceleration, displacement, and velocity, and know the relationships between that. Binomial expansion has always been a big favorite on the old standard level. Um, it has certainly come up on the paper too. Notice this is generally a paper two kind of question, where paper two is with a calculator. So make sure you prepare for this particular paper uh, with binomial expansion, so work out binomial coefficients. Um, occasionally, they might ask, okay, you've got an expansion, work out the fourth term, or the fourth term's equal to something, work out what n is, that kind of question too. However, it's still a standard level course, so a lot of the standard level questions will appear from the old standard level. Sine cosine rule is one good example of this, um, including use of algebra. So one of the questions was, it gives you cos A is equal to something, and you need to work out sine or the other way round. So it's much more of an algebraic approach. Likewise, composite inverse functions appears on both AISL and AASL, uh, but this will be more algebraic in nature. Uh, normal distribution, there was one big question on that too. This can also be combined with probability as well, which I've put as an extra section. There was a very difficult uh, probability question on one of the papers, using expected value and using conditional probability. So although this tends towards the AI side of things, uh, probability also does appear on AA. So do be aware of that. Uh, sequences I'd like to mention next. So this is often algebraic in nature. Notice the theme here. So they may give you a term and then the sum of the terms. So they might give you U8 and S8 is equal to something, I know 24. And then from there you have to work out the first term and the common difference, something along those lines too. Uh, one thing to add here is if you get a finance sort of a question, which of course would have to be on paper two, if it is on paper one, then you'd be use, expected to use the formula and use logarithms to then work out the geometric series that appears. So make sure you're just aware of that and be aware which topics lend themselves to non-calculator and which tend themselves to calculator. Last of all is sinusoidal modeling. And this seems to be very popular on the AASL course. It could be on non-calculator paper. So if you know your basic sinusoidal model with sine or cosine, you need to know, first of all, what A, B, C, D, and stand for, and what they do within the sine cosine function, and then be able to apply that in a lot of different situations. It used to be the old Ferris wheel question used to be very popular um, in order to work out various things with sine and cosine. It still is. There was one question which used a Ferris wheel, uh, but just be prepared for a sine or cosine model in a more unfamiliar context. And I'd really recommend using Revision Village here because I have lots of great questions on this topic uh, to actually explore this in great detail. And if you'd like more practice on typical SLAA questions, then just check out the video over here, which actually goes through some of the more uh, fundamental questions that you'll see on an SLAA paper.